Hi guys, it's Rob here from GamePit.co.uk and today I'm taking a look at Call of the Sea uh, on the PlayStation 5. This came out a while ago on Xbox and PC but it's just coming out on, Call, uh, on PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 today and it's a cross-generation buy so if you buy for one game you get it on both versions like previous games. Um, I was going to stream this last night, but I accidentally fell asleep, so instead I thought I would record a 4K 60fps um, playthrough, just for like about 30-40 minutes, something like that, just to show you what the game is like at its full resolution and frame rate. I've not actually played the game yet, all I did was press a new game before just to see what the intro was like, but I didn't really get very far, about 5 minutes in if that. So let's start a new game and take a look at what Call of the Sea on the PlayStation 5 looks like. Oh, we're going to be English and have the subtitles on. If you don't know anything about the game, you're the same as me. <laughs> I know it's based on Lovecraftian um, mythology. Where am I? So it may have Cthulhu in it, but it's not a horror game, it's a mystery game. Um, but other than that, I know nothing about it. I've purposely not watched anyone play it or read anything about it since it came out on Xbox because I knew it was going to come out to PlayStation, I so I didn't place. want to get spoiled on it. The visuals are really nice, though. What's going on, though? We're obviously under the sea, but there's like a table, and this is obviously a dream. Whenever a, uh, a Lovecraftian game life. starts, it's I'm always a dream. Hopefully, he can hear me as well. Um, these if not, it's going to be a bit of a bummer. I'm <laughs> climbing these stairs again. No, you're not, love. You're swimming up them. Just climbing them. Big difference. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. Oh shit, she's hearing voices. It is Cthulhu. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Mr. Bond. My no. old music box. It's broken. Oh. I have to fix my old music box. I, I have to get it. I have to. Uh, uh, oh wow. Those horrible dreams again. <gasps> I've had them always yes, dreams. If, if you played died, any left me that Cthulhu games, you know it's always dreams. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. Oh, okay. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you see. Uh. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam. But the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. Okay. All Are right. we in? Time to gather my things. Time to gather my things. So, just like any Cthulhu game, like I said, it started with a dream, and she's got an illness, and we're obviously out seeking a cure. I'd always dreamed of travelling. It was not the same without you, Harry. I'd always dreamed of traveling. Who's Harry? I'm Our definitely husband? going to miss this bed. Falling asleep oh. to the ship's rocking was delightful. It's not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't always get what you want. Okay, that's a sink. So I've got to gather my things, I suppose. Let's see what the buttons do. So triangle does nothing, square does nothing, circle does nothing, cross lets you look at stuff. Uh, R1 and L1 do nothing, R2 and L2 do nothing, and the free L3 and R3 buttons do nothing as well. Merveille du Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I think. Okay. Uh, what's this book? My diary. Can we take our diary? 
So it's 1934. Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart. Art teacher. And that's our name. We're Nora. If I've sounded After it. spending so much time reading this book, I think I've learned a thing or two about Polynesian culture. Okay, so we won't take that. Gloves. We always need gloves to cover up our uh, oh, diseased hands. cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. <laughs> yeah, the gloves only cover the hand to the wrist and her disease goes past her wrist. So it doesn't really cover anything up. I received a mysterious... Oh, that music better not be sun. copyrighted. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. I received suitcase. A... Okay, let's just turn that music off because I don't want it to be copyrighted and it to strike this video. Oh my, I have the worst memory. I oh, forgot the combination again. Thank Is it goodness sit, I always sit, bring sit. my journal with me to write things down. It's not sit, 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 but it did save a journal. So how do we look at the journal? Is it touchpad? No. It's not. There we go. It's triangle. Triangle now works. Um, 506. That's got to be it. Let's have a look. Uh, 506. There we go. All right, now it's open. <clears throat> that was easy enough. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. I thought that was a Polaroid. Okay, so she, she drew Harry a heart. My husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. Find him. Okay, so is he dead or is he a missing? Brass key with Ooh. the letters C W engraved on it. And some okay. enigmatic instructions. And a key. Harry take the key. Heart, my no, husband, no, no. my partner, and no, my don't. dear just old pal. Take it, can I take the key? key with letter... Okay, I think she just took this it anyway. Strange and is that a dagger sharp relic came in the package I received at home. Okay. Right, have we collected everything? Do we need clothes? What was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? Okay, I don't think we need clothes. I think we are dressed. Mm, I think I've overpacked. Okay, what's that? Captain Hodgson has a very particular taste when it comes to decor. Just for different flags. And I think we have checked out everything there is. We got absolutely zero trophies for this room, so let's move on and okay, see Nora. where our adventure takes us. On your own. There we go, there's a trophy. A family heirloom. Out of the blue. Lower there are developers. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lad. Rough Yuri RV publisher. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there. Right, so my husband's not I dead, he's gone you. missing, and he's I'll supposedly on this then. island. Oh, we've got three days to find him. I don't know what the legends say about it, because Thank I you, know Captain nothing about the game. Wow, this game is so beautiful, it's so bright. I don't know if it will show up on the video. It should do if you've got a mm -hmm. HDR device, Here because it does record in HDR on PS5. But it's so bright. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be wow you left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction your letters kept me close to you but suddenly they stopped coming what happened old pal what did you find he's probably dead <laughs> no, <laughs> not not being down or anything but he probably is dead if he's on this island he might have met Kong or something to this place an island in the middle of the Pacific the locals refuse to even name. Why would you refuse to name it? It's Kong Island, obviously. Everything is familiar. It's so familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? I'm gonna say yes, because there's the symbol. <laughs> it's right there. Call of the Sea. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited to play this. I love games like this. Raw Fury are great as well. They always pick the best games to publish. And hopefully, like I said, you can hear my voice and you're getting the experience as I am. Because, as I say, I'm recording it in 4K60. So, if possible, watch it in 1440p or above on YouTube. 
as it will be uncompressed and it will look a lot better. Surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? Yeah, this this really prevents anyone from entering. Yeah, our boat just <laughs> goes There's straight in the gap. <laughs> I get what it means though, but it's not really stopping anyone from getting here, is it? It's a massive gap here. Now that looks interesting. Is it a shell? Huh. And there's like a little camp over there as well. Okay. <sighs> I'm okay, take you Harry, back. I'll leave my things in the boat until I find somewhere to camp. Really? They're going to go missing, aren't they? I know it's just resonance, but I do love listening to the sea in them. I know it. Bless you, can't pick it up. Can we run? There is no run button. Okay. Or at least not yet. Maybe there'll be Attempt. one. So somebody any... was on this island a recently. Va a a Polynesian outrigger canoe, beautifully crafted too. A miniature. Okay, so someone's been here. Oh, that's a vivo. Oh, flute. That the Polynesians play with their nose. No. I won't be playing that. Wait, you play it with a nose? A okay. I will be playing that. It's been up someone's nose. Okay. <laughs> Um, is there anything else here? Oh, hello. A note written in French. I only understand two words. Il and mort. Island and death. Yeah, island of a death. Dead. It I don't must know what be that a says warning either. about the dangers. This machete is completely worn down. The blade is dull. You're dull. Sorry. <laughs> uh, we need something to sharpen it then, Someone don't we? Someone has been chopping down palm trees. A lot of them. Maybe to build something. Hmm. Maybe a boat to get off this island? I feel... Nah. Quite good. Here we go. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Now, R2 and L3 spin. So, by the sound of it, obviously, triangle only became activated after a little while, and now runs only became activated. So, we're going to be gaining button prompts as we go through the game. <laughs> but at least now we've got the ability to run, so we're not walking around everywhere. But that also means that we may have to start running away from something. Hopefully, not. It's not supposed to be a horror game. Those What's markings that? seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. Okay, at least that means I don't need to remember it. So that's probably going to be the answer to how to open this gate I just saw over here. That's what I'm guessing anyway, because, wow, this is so nice. <laughs> because um, it'll probably put the answer close by. Let's go this way first. Is there anything up here? Oh, hello. This is a. Um, These wooden figures are called Unu. Unu. It seems to be telling a story. Unu. It was telling a story. Oh, hello. There's something on this side. There's um, eight little men on the mountain. And that's it. I thought you would have to look through its face and it would show like a certain set of symbols or something, but it doesn't appear to be the case. Oh, there's another one here. What does this one show? This one shows two of the men set up a bridge against a big monster, and then f um, four of the others set up a bridge against the other big monster, which means there's two other people that aren't doing anything. Maybe they're they're slacking, or maybe they've been eating. Who knows? I can't pick up any of this stuff. Um, okay, it's a rock. What's over here? Oh, flowers. But clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. No, it looks pretty. What Take it. Offering. What a lovely flower offering. Pick it up. Destroy it. Mess with a, common, with a local culture. Oh, there's a bunch of stories. Um, four people got one person on a bungee rope who... Did the Battletoads thing where he bounces from side to side as he attacked a giant monster. Um, a boat came 
and Lightning Bolt hit while three people stood by and watched on top of each other's shoulders. And then they all got in boats and sailed to a mountain. Um, six people uh, had sets and multiplied into another three people. Or they maybe combined into three people. And then four people set up guard against another big monster. Three people ascended into heaven while one person watched. And then he got on a boat and sailed away from the island. And what's this? Box. C W. Oh, key. Those are the key. initials on the brass key. Key. That's now it turned green. It. So whoever sent me this key was here. Um. There's a stone that has a wheel under it near the this flower is bed. to look like a scavenger hunt. A carving tool. Nice. Carving take tool. it. Take it. No. Not going to take it. Right, so it's just told me where a treasure is, which is near the flowery bush. This rock here. Ah. Well, look what's hidden here. Well, look indeed. It's a... It's a little mushroom with a symbol on it. I'll take that. Is this going to be the thing that opens this door? Yes, because there's one From on top of that I've one. Read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Kong! Kong is on the island. Clearly. What the? Okay, that's that's good. There you go. Well, that did something. It works. And onward. Past this the first the puzzle. This the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. Okay. What's this? Is that... Harry? Harry! Harry! You were here! You were hmm? here and I found you, damn it! Where are you <laughs> now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? Probably all dead, love. What's this? Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. Lady Shannon. Where did it mention Lady Shannon? Is it in notes? Uh, oh, there's different things here. Let's go right to the beginning. I'm not going to read all this. You can read it if you want. Just pause it. It's 4K. You'll be able to read it. Uh, but let's see if it says Lady Shannon anywhere on there. Can't see anything there. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, sorry, if you can hear a buzzing in the background, it's the fan of my little mini PC. This microphone is quite sensitive, so it's probably picking up on it because I can hear it. Um, right, I can't see anything to do with Lady Shannon. No. And in the notes, there's nothing here. Nope. Anyway, so I don't know anything about Lady Shannon, so... The protagonist is lying. Oh, what's this? Puzzle? This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. What a Polynesian version. Um. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing with that. Huh. Let's see, I've probably already picked up a clue, but let's oh, have a look down here first. Since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. She doesn't seem like triggered by the fact there's probably a giant ape I on this island. The air is denser here in this mangrove swamp. Mangrove, mangrove. Wasn't the um thing in? Um, Moons of Madness, a mangrove. Hello. What are you? Rays Ooh. of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. Are you going to jot it down? It's just 
three triangles. So four is three triangles. So I'm guessing that there's going to be a few of them. Have you? Yeah, you have jotted it down. Good, 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 good. And it's on the same page as that first symbol we found. So I'm guessing that is also one of them. Oh, here's one. So we've got to find all of these. What a beautiful mountainous landscape. That is beautiful. But we're looking for the symbols. Have you written it down? Yes, you have. Okay. There's another one here on the beach. This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another <clears throat> symbol inside it. I do like the visuals. I know I keep going on about it, but it's so bright and uh, colourful when it's in HDR. I presume it's in HDR. My TV didn't switch back to now SDR. Half the world, I wouldn't Actually, you know what? Crossing the other half. I'm going to test but it. I have to do it with you, old pal. Because on my TV, it has a secret setting that lets you see what the TV is currently running at. I'm just going to double check. Cause I don't want to keep saying it's HDR if it's not HDR. Um, it is currently outputting at 4K 60fps. Oh, it's in SDR, so it's not HDR. <laughs> okay, so there's the answer. It's very colourful and it's very bright, but it's not actually HDR, it's just SDR. So maybe the developers could put HDR in it and it will look even brighter. I've already been here. Okay. But it does also mean that if you've got an, HDR, uh, an SDR TV and not HDR, it will look just as bright and colourful as this. It's also very smooth, I'm presuming it is 60 FPS on the PS5 version. I haven't tried the PS4 version Oh my, this is so yet. beautiful. <laughs> what were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Blue tits. Lorikeets. Oh. Why is there so many symbols now? Which one's which? Um, do I just keep looking to see if there's one that I can look at? Oh, the third one. Okay. There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this unu. I'll unu! I'll draw symbol in my journal. Okay, so that's the one I needed. Oh, is that the gate? Oh. Let me pick you up. Let me pick it up. Let me pick it up. Um... Is there anything up here? What's that? Some Sumatra Queen. It's letting me look at it. Let me just. This looks like cargo from an earlier voyage. Long I've got a trophy. Harry's expedition. Okay. I'm guessing that was like a hidden Easter egg kind of thing. Right, can we open this gate now? A shortcut. That's convenient. It is very convenient. Right, so, have I got everything I need? I've got five of them, and I think there was five things I needed to twist. So let's make our way back to the symbol. I want to see if we can solve Harry it. said that he would go to the end of the world to find a cure. And by the looks of it, he wasn't lying. So he went we missing trying to find to each other a from cure the moment for her. We started dating, no matter how harsh the truth. Okay. I wonder if we'll find him. I reckon something has happened to him, but I'm I'm guessing he's probably is alive. But we'll see. Right, so one, two, three, four, five. Alright, okay, sun Right. Sun to mountain sea fish. So it's free. Yes, it's three arrows up waves fish. Um, I know we've trapped. So three arrows mountain sea fish. Is that right? Do we not press a button or something? 
That is right, isn't it? Uh, three arrows, mountain, sea, fish. Three arrows, mountain, sea, fish. Is that sea not in the right place? Do you have to press a red button? Oh, right, we press a red button. There the we jackpot. go. That's my ticket across the river, then. Awesome. Wasn't too hard. I just forgot to press a red button. I still think she should have brought a case with her because someone's going to nick it. Okay, it's getting a bit creepy now. But remember, it's not a horror film, a game, horror game. There we go, it was 74 miles east of Oatehe. Oh, whatever it was. There's a trophy, basically. How long have I been walking? I've lost track of the About time. Five minutes. Oh, chapter two now. The Everha Expedition. Wow, what is this place? Oh, it's a little mini settlement. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that. That is so nice. <laughs> and I keep going about it, but it looks so pretty on the PS5. Harry's crew might have stayed here. A tiki, like something straight out of an adventure novel. A tiki. The Everhard Expedition. They set up camp here. All right, cool. So Harry was here. Where is he now? A tiki. These tikis be some sort of guardians. She's jotting them down, so. Yeah, they've got. There's going to be a puzzle on building the um, Tom Poland there. Polynesian that? man covered in tattoos. I'm not sure if he looks angry or scared. He's not covered in tattoos. He's got a tattoo on his arm. Well, what well? The guy doesn't want to be near the ruins. Why is he so afraid of a well? Okay. That's probably where that woman from the ring comes out of. And what's this one? So now you believe in magic, old pal? He gave one of those amulets to each of us. Only Harry kept his. Okay. Did it protect him? Or did it kill him? Who knows? Uh, oh, tape recorder. Let me record it. So, you said you've been on this island before. Yes. <gasps> Harry, me as Harry. A... I made a rookie mistake. Oh, that's not Harry. I did it from my fishing route to go to what looked like a better spot. Less than an hour had gone. I went suddenly. My va'a, my canoe overturned. And I got this lovely souvenir from that mistake. Heavens, what gave you that scar? It's not a what, but a who. I don't know. I didn't get a good look at it. But it seemed like a sea creature I never seen. Anyway, I was lucky enough to reach that Whiteson beach. The one where we landed on the island. A man came three days later and got me out of there. He brought me to the port of Papete without speaking a single word. Time passed and I promised myself that I would go on with my life and forget about this damn island. Why did you agree to return to the island then? I need to know what happened to me to discover the truth. I don't know if you get me. Absolutely. Okay. So, that was a Polynesian man, not Harry. Fascinating. These ancient geometric stone structures are not Polynesian. What purpose did they serve? They're obviously a lock. Oh, Looks like one? some of the crew members didn't get along too well. Oh, they never do it in games like this. Ritual? He won. Uh, he's warning us about those ruins. He said that some sort of forbidden ritual took place here. Oh, just drop something on the floor. I'll pick that up in a minute. Right. So tiki's are obviously a puzzle, or the solution to They're a puzzle. They're composed of four pieces. Yes, I can see that. Uh, what's on here? Dice. I've never cared much for games of chance. That's weird. Oh, you can I've play. I've never cared much for games of. Oh, play just means play the audio, not play the game. 
This fella sounds pretty hot-headed. I came to this godforsaken island uh, for just a few days, and it's been almost two weeks already of doing nothing. Is this rich jerk going to open that hatch anytime soon? Oh, it's, it's lost all over again. Uh, I'm not going to wait for Mr. Know-It-All again like I did with the elevator. You better let me handle this situation. We brought dynamite for a reason. Okay. So it is lost. And there's the hatch. Blowing an ancient hatch with dynamite sounds like a fool's errand to me. Ooh. Like someone <laughs> didn't like you very much, Harry. Blah, blah, blah. I'm so clever. I'm not sure what to expect on this island, but I hope I won't regret not having... I'm not sure what to expect on this island, but I hope I won't regret not having a gun. Okay, so let me actually look in the box before I open the box. A comb. Nice comb. Comb your hair. No. Who worries this much about their appearance in a place Brillantine. like this? Or is it hair gel or something? It's probably Harry's. We should take that because it's shaped like a cog, so it probably is a cog. Um, His this? real name was Costas? Okay. Costas Apostolou? Bearers address in the United States, blah, blah, blah. In case of ancient uh, accident, notify that person. I don't know who they are. Hello? Who's that? <laughs> Looks like this fellow was a real heartbreaker. Why would they leave all the photos here? What's happened to him? Quite a looker. A fashion model, maybe. To draw your best stuntman in Hollywood. Why would you bring a stuntman Very with you? Very neat. Oh, they never were packing gun a lot of heat when they came to this island, but they took all the guns with them. Huh. But what is I need a gun? I'll right, go out. Wait a minute. Let's go this way first. There's another hut over here. Oh, big fish heads. Damn it. Someone on the expedition died. <gasps> is it Harry? Roy. I never thought that this expedition would cause anybody's death. Oh, I'm sure Harry never thought so either. Oh dear. If he'd known this was going to happen, he'd never have a farewell message from a friend. I guess we'll have to finish our game in the afterlife. Rest in peace, Pally. Oh, do we play him a game? Look, it's got like a king and queen and stuff like that on it. Oh, that's a shame. I wonder how he died. Did he get blown up by using a dynamite? All the dynamite's they gone, actually. The dynamite? Yeah, I just said that. But those big fish heads are a good sign, because if you know about Lovecraftian lore and, like, Cthulhu and that, um, the Cthulhu worshippers and that tend to be fish-faced monsters, as we saw in Call of Cthulhu and um, The Sinking City. So, um, as I said, it's not a horror game. But there may be some fish fakes for people. If we see any people, actually. He uh, seems it, confused. As if he was having a hard time writing this down. If anyone needs me, I'll be in a medical tent up on the flat outcrop. After what happened, I'd better find out more about the, um, well, Dr. DeWitt. DeWitt, I know DeWitt. Um, Bioshock Infinite. That was DeWitt, wasn't it? What a delicate piece of craftsmanship. Um, I don't think Bioshock was based on Lovecraftian, but I have heard DeWitt in a few games. I hadn't been close to a grave since my mother's burial. Shortly after she died, my lovely Dalmatian spots, <clears throat> as Harry used to call them, appeared. We thought go it was that way. at first. Oh, this way. We need to go to the, the medical tent, I imagine, but where's that? Why is this hammock so far from the rest of the campsite? Yeah, I was just going to say that. They're, they've all got like, nice and huts, and then there's just someone living on the outskirts. Maybe this is where the Polynesian person lives. Look lived. at this little fellow. <laughs> Look at this little fella. Isn't he precious? We're not taking him with us, though. An amulet with a carved Marquesian cross. <clears throat> the symbol represents balance and protection. She's not taking anything. In a normal adventure game, our pockets would be full by now. <laughs> This is quite um, 
quite peaceful. The river cuts through that canyon. It doesn't look safe to cross. No, it doesn't. So we can't go that way. I'm a fish guy. Let's see if we can find the medical center. It said it was on a flat part at the top of a mountain. Is that it? I'm guessing that's it. Okay, we're gonna have to try and lower that bridge, I imagine. Oh, I must have found the luxury huts. Pretty swanky. <laughs> They're not that swanky. They look the same as the others. This is a little bit bigger. But I'm guessing this is the medical place. <laughs> look at him. Giddy as a schoolboy. Okay, so this is where Harry lived. Black ooze. Oh my god, it's um it's X Files. All over again. I've seen Harry keep even restaurant <gasps> checks. Jigsaw puzzle. puzzle! He would never tear up a piece of valuable information. Jigsaw puzzle. Um <laughs> I think that one actually goes there. Are they actually locking in place or can I? No, I can still move them when they've been set, so I don't know if that is actually the right place for it. Oops. They look like they're in the right place now. Um. Is there one that could go there? Does that one go there? Looks like it. <clears throat> Not too difficult, this. <laughs> There we go, final piece. Let's see what it says. So, it actually just drew what we're supposed to be making, I imagine. It's been ripped out of something else. Like a turtle with a little house in the middle. There's the another one of them. Of the tiki on this column seem movable. Okay, so what are we changing it to? Because there's four different designs there. I don't know. Turtle, fish, dragon, butterfly. But that doesn't match up to anything that these look like. I'll come back to you. <laughs> oh, sorry. Had to sneeze. <laughs> what does this say? Oh, I won. That Frank seems to feel guilty for whatever happened. I feel really bad for him. I still don't understand what happened. Roy knew just as well as you and me that the black ooze was highly volatile. I should never have believed him when he said he had your permission. I feel responsible for what happened. Right, so that Roy did something with the black ooze. And Considering that killed how poorly him. Harry draws, this isn't half bad. How do you know Harry drew it? Someone else might have. Object here. Okay, so you put the square object in the square hole. Okay. And that makes a lift. Okay. Well, are you going to pick it up then? You know? Now we know what it does. No. Okay. You put together quite an expedition, Harry. And all just for little old me. The Harry of a heart I know would never have given up on this. Something this... must have happened that kept him from solving it. This is so frustrating. I know I'm close, but I can't find the right combination. Black, Black ooze. ooze. In a telescope? Who oh, use it as a microscope, aren't they? What's this? Other oh. planes of existence. That's bats. Um, Tilling has spectacles lens aligner. After a specific alignment, this device concentrates 
super resonance wave spectrum in an optical impression. Observing the lenses will affect the subject's pineal gland, allowing them to gaze into the other planes of reality outside of the spectrum we consider our dimension. All rights reserved. Crawford Tillinghast. Okay. Those are, are bots. Oh, that's cool. Where did you get this strange device, Harry? He stole it from someone. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty cool. <clears throat> okay. Um, so what do we do? Okay, this is changing the dots on the screen. We can zoom out or in. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm we need a really clue. Sure, how this thingamajig works, or what to do with it? Yeah, I've not got a clue for it yet. What's this one? My dear old pal, I know you won't ever read this letter, but I'm accustomed to writing you, and it comforts me in this strange place. This island is riddled with secrets. So many secrets. But I'm not only talking about mechanisms and contraptions, Nora. I dare say that something on the island clouds one's judgment. Otherwise, I don't have an explanation for Roy's actions. The man was arrogant, impulsive, and a little cocky, but he was no fool. We weren't friends by any means, but he didn't deserve what happened to him. Nobody deserves that. We may have made some progress in finding the cure for your illness, but at what price? I miss you so much, Nora. Harry. He may not say it explicitly, but Harry blames himself for Roy's death. I know him too well. And I miss you too, Harry. Okay. This explains why the campsite is nearly abandoned. Tell the others to pack up as fast as they can. We have to get Black Sand Beach. Something happened to the ship. Bring only what's indispensable. Like the guns. Now I'm guessing we look through this telescope and it's probably going to give us the answer. Jeepers! A stranded ship! Oh, Jeepers! Okay, no, that didn't give us any answer. How are we going to solve this puzzle? It's got clues here. I know I'm close, but I can't find the right combination. A black ooze. It says something about adjusting the top. Something's missing here. I need something to go in there, but I haven't got it, have I? <clears throat> right, we need to do this tiki thing then. Um, that's the clue. Oh, wait. Different sea creatures connect with each tiki. Uh, tiki. Order of the symbols important. Family symbols. So we need to go and figure out what symbol is on each of them, I suppose. Let's see if there's an obvious clue. <clears throat> right, so here's one. So there's nothing on it. That. Hmm, something's missing inside that emblem. Would that have been the turtle? <clears throat> yes, because look. It's some sort of Polynesian coat of arms. Is that an octopus? Has she wrote it next to it now? No. All oh, right, okay, so I think that's in the way the ass. That one's got like the big open mouth, which is that one. Is this one got B folded arms? 
It has. Okay, so I just need to look at the symbol above the place. That one's been... It's broken, but I might as well draw what I can see of it in my journal. So I should draw that one, which is the last one. And the other one was over here, I think. Yes. And this one doesn't have anything above it, but that should be fine. If I've got three of them, then I can make out what all four of them are. So let's go back and do the <coughs> do the tiki puzzle. We are getting close. Well, we're just over 45 minutes now. So we should be able to do this puzzle and maybe a little bit more. <coughs> the PS5 stops recording at an hour. So I want to try and get to a decent point to stop so it doesn't just cut me mid-sentence or something. Plus this is 4K60 video, so it's going to take a long time to upload my my low internet speed. Right, come on then, bad boy, what's the answer? Um, so the top one has to be a turtle, so it's the three symbols. A secret compartment. You gotta be kidding me. All they had to do was change that top one. <laughs> that can't be right. Oh well, I'll take it. What's this? What kind of stone is this? <gasps> is that one from the elevator? Quite like it. It's... Yes. I take it. <clears throat> What's that? Wow, really old photo. The island is wearing a lot of tribal ornaments, but none of them seem Polynesian. How can you tell the one with a mask isn't Polynesian? He's got a mask on. Are we taking that? Yeah. Oh, we've got um, a trophy. Weekend uh, Wallachias. Okay, so that was a, a hidden <gasps> item by the looks of it. Oh. Right, so what have we just picked up? We have a stone, and we've made that a statue. So what next? That stone is for the elevator, but we can't get to the elevator. Oh, we can go down here. I think I need that slide for the telescope, so we can do the ooze puzzle. Oh, hello. Hello, little friend. Can't pick you up. I can't cross until the drawbridge is lowered. Yes, I know that, but how do I lower the drawbridge? We can't commit suicide and jump into the water. Um, okay, let's go back up. So, clearly the next thing we need to do is the telescope. But I've got the switch, the slab for the elevator. Let's have a look at the note, see if that gives a hint. Um, it says nothing in here, we've already gone through all that. Uh, the notes, looking through the telescope I saw a ship stranded on a black beach at the other side of the island. That must be the Lady Shannon, the ship that took the expedition here. Harry managed to solve a tiki puzzle and opened a secret compartment inside the chieftain's hut. That's where he kept his ritual garments and a strange stone block. Touching it made me feel uneasy. Okay, so that's the last thing that we've got in here. But I don't know how we're going to solve the... Oh, what's this? What mess did you get into, Harry? Uh, Mr. Everhart, we deeply regret your refusal to accept our funding for your expedition. We have always had an excellent relationship with your family, and we really consider this venture a unique and profitable opportunity for both parties. We wish you the best of luck in your journey. You surely are going to need it. Yours sincerely, Caleb Bowen, the Starry Wisdom Society. Okay. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. It says here that he's almost got it. He's close, but he can't find the right combination. There is slides there, but I can't pick them up. Is there any other clues? 
anything I'm missing. I can't duck. What's this one? That just tells you about it. Something's happened to the ship, and it's, it's underlined ship. Jeepers, a stranded ship. I know, but I can't do anything with it. I need something to go on the top there. Missing here. Unless solving this gives me the slide, because it probably appears on that slide. But I can't. Oh wait, it has got a meter thing though, so maybe... Are we trying to find... Let's just keep doing it until... Because that, that meter is going up as I do it. I can't do any more. Okay, so you can only do a certain amount of them before it stops you. But how would you know what goes where? I don't get it. I don't get what the puzzle is. <laughs> I honestly don't know where it is. I'm not really sure how this thingamajig works. No, what no. Do with it? Can't have the right combination. But there's, there's no clue. Am I missing something that's really obvious? There must be a clue that I've missed. I've not got anything in my book, have I? No. Considering how poorly Harry draws, this isn't half bad. Um. Have I missed uh, something in here? Impressive work. Is that a fish pattern? Looks more like a bird. This appears to be the shrine of a Polynesian chieftain. I should have definitely not missed anything in there. Oh. There's not a button that gives you a hint. <laughs> there should be. You just press it and it says like, Go here and find your next clue. Right. I'm going to be looking for this for a while and we're on 53 minutes so I'm going to call it quits here. This is Call of the Sea. It's out today on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. It's one purchase and you get both versions with a double platinum. Um, it's also available on the Xbox One, Xbox Series X and PC. Um, it's a very interesting puzzle game based around uh, Lovecraftian lore. It's not a horror game. Um, I don't know if Cthulhu's in it. Might be, because it is Lovecraftian. But it's not a horror game. It, as you can see, it's an exploration adventure puzzle game instead. Uh, if you like it, be sure to check it out and pick it up. I don't think it's too expensive. I think it's uh, quite cheap, actually, on the store. Um, this video should show you a bit of what the game is like. Like I said, it's been recorded in 4K 60fps directly from a PlayStation 5. It doesn't have HDR, so the brightness of the colours will be for everyone on SDR. Um, but yeah, if you like it, check it out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, because I am going to be continuing playing it now. And then I am going to be putting my review for the game up on my website later on today. 
which is gamepit.co.uk. So G A M E P I double T dot co dot uk. Uh, so check that out if you want a review of a full game, which I should hopefully have finished it by then because it's only about six hours long. So that will be later on today after my Resident Evil review goes live on the website. Um, yeah, any questions, let me know. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching and I will catch you in my next video.